So there's some of the, some of the things we talked about are pretty straightforward. You know, we talked about flexion of the hip. You've got the psoas, uh, and then you have the rectus femoris, and then you have other things that aren't quite so straightforward, like these, the uh, tensor fascia lata is going to flex the hip. It's also going to do a little bit of internal rotation of the hip. It's also going to do some abduction of the hip. It's pretty straightforward that the adductors are going to do a deduction, right? But they're also going to act like the hamstrings. Some of those ha adductor muscles are going to act more like hamstrings. Some of the, uh, let's see. Then you have the sartorius. It kind of acts like it's in the front compartment of the leg, but it also acts like it's on the medial compartment because it'll internally rotate the knee. So, so it sort of crosses over. And then a deduction of the thigh. Again, it's going to be the, the adductor muscles, uh, the ones that have the name adductor in it, and then also the pectineus and the gracilis. So, you want to be able to understand what you're looking at when you see a picture of the back of the thigh like this. Okay? So it's pretty straightforward to know which ones are going to be on the lateral side of the hamstring. What's going to be over here? Bicep. Biceps, what? Some more. Some more. Okay. And what's going to be on this this side here? Any tendinosis? Yeah, so we talked about semitendinosis, semimembranosis on the medial side. So it's pretty straightforward that there's two different sections of the back part of the hamstrings. You got over here on this side, you can pretty much feel there's only one tendon there. That's going to be biceps femoris. And we talked about on the medial side, there's a whole bunch of tendons there. And we talked about how the gracilis is the one, the, the one that's the lowest is semitendinosis. That sticks out the most, and that's going to go down here to the pesticide thrine. You come up to the front side of it, that's where you have the gracilis, and you know because it goes straight up here. And then medial to that semitendinosis, you're going to feel a little bulge of muscle. That's going to be the semimembranosis. Because it's not, they call tendinosis that for a reason, because it's mostly like a tendon. They call semimembranosis like that for a reason, because it's mostly like a membrane. Because see here, this is three-dimensionally, this part here is more like a, sh a thin sheet. Whereas tendinosis is going to come down and form more of a tendon. Right? Then you also have to be aware that you're going to see that adductor magnus in there. So if you ever see something from the back of the thigh and there's another muscle that you can't fit into these straightforward things like the biceps femoris, tendinosis, membranosis, gracilis, something coming out like that is going to be the adductor magnus. Because again, you know, your thigh is a big, I mean, this is where they get hams from, right? So it's all a big round thing of muscle, so it's, they all kind of blend together. So sometimes it's not quite a complete division between the medial compartment and the posterior car compartment. They sort of tend to blend together. So this kind of shows <coughs> a little bit how, remember, here's where that obturator foramen is. So it's a ring sitting there like that. And this is coming off the external part of it. So part of it's going to be the pubis, part of it's going to be the ischia. And it's going around, coming around the back side of the femur, so it's an external rotator. Okay. Whereas the obturator mm -hmm. internus would come from the other side of that. But still to the posterior yeah. or to the Right, because it's already it's more on the posterior side to start with. This one's one that's more on the anterior side. It has to dive and come back around. The other one's just coming around with that. Why it's made that way, I don't know. I guess it works, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so. Uh, so then here just shows different external landmarks. You can see like the sartorius right there. And then vastus lateralis is pretty prominent on the side of the thigh. And then, of course, you have the leg crest. So then, you know, you just need to kind of know, like I said, when you when you look at the, the body, you don't know that's what's underneath. You know that that iliac crest is going to be pretty much right here, and then you can come here to hook under that PSIS.
Okay, so then, you know, and there's that operator frame, and here's the pubic symphysis, pubic bone, here's your tuberosity, so just be familiar with all those landmarks. So again, when you, when you palpate and you put your hand across the iliac crest and you go straight in, you're going to be pretty much between, uh, like right here, would be here's L5. So usually your thumb's going to go right between L4 and L5. Right? We've gone over that before. And then now you're just going down and feeling the uh, PSIS. So then... Here's this linea aspera. Okay, so is this the posterior side or the anterior side of the tumor? This posterior. Posterior. Okay. So that linea aspera is going along the back side of the tumor. Are you going to be able to palpate that on somebody? No. Not really likely. But you can palpate the greater trochanter for sure, maybe the lesser trochanter, but definitely these um, epicondyles and that adductor tubercle right there. And so then we pretty much went over this, right? You find the go along the iliac crest, you find the AIIS, I mean the ASIS, and you can't necessarily get your hands on the AIIS, but you know that it's just deep underneath there. And then what's the muscle that originates off of that? What's the one muscle in the anterior compartment that crosses two joints? And it's the um Femoral. Um, that's put down here. How about those surfaces? Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you. Okay. Huh? This one here. So it goes from the AIIS, crosses the hip, goes into the patella. Okay. And then what muscle comes off of here? Is that not my tears? That is. Um, Tensor, the tensor fascia lata? Yeah, tensor fascia lata comes off of that and part of the iliac crest right here. And then what's the one that goes across here? Sartorius. Sartorius, that comes off of there too. <coughs> okay. And then so if you're working way down here, you can fill the greater trochanter, right? That's pretty easy to find. And then we've gone over this a little bit before too, but there you have the PSIS. Then you can come across and trace down the center of the sacrum. And then also, kind of hard to feel, but potentially you can find those sacral foramens because you do need to know those for a point location. And again, that's where it comes into the fact of whether you may or may not necessarily actually be able to palpate it, but you're going to know where it is. If you can find the top part of the sacrum up here and find the SPs, and then you know where the PSIS is, you're going to know pretty much it's going to be right along that line in there. Okay? <coughs> and you know, like I said, if you're going to get into palpating the pubic frame right here, you're going to do that through the other person's hand. Okay? And then you know, maybe you palpate the initial tuberosity, but we're not going to be palpating in there. So and then we've done this too, where you can feel the iliac <coughs> crest, tracing it around from the ASIS to the PSIS. So then there's the PSISs, and then the way to, to know that you have it is when you hook up underneath the bottom of it. And then ischial tuberosity, and then the greater trochanter. So they're basically showing how you're popping it yourself, and then you can feel like this. It's like the same way we did with the radial head. Here and you can feel the greater head of the, I mean the greater trochanter about moving back and forth as you rotate. So when I go this way, what kind of rotation is that? External. External. And then and it's the same thing like this with the shoulder. When you pull your sword out, right, what kind of rotation is that? External. External. When you put it back in, internal. it's internal. 